today we are testing out a mobile vlogging rig. It's a whole rig that Rode put together, a whole kit, and it's designed for for the mobile or the, the iPhone vlogger. Basically, the whole kit is a phone mount that's that's solidly good. Yeah. I don't have an electric skateboard right now, so Whew, I gotta push this thing. Yeah, but the kit is a, a phone mount, really good phone mount, with a tripod handle, a light on top of it. But the main bit, the main bit that I wanna test out down here before we go back to the office is, is the microphone. Because again, we know the iPhone 12 Pro, the video is excellent. It's got the new HDR mode, it's got all sorts of things. There's apps like the Moment app where you can actually get to the proper frame rates. There's little clip-on ND filters. There's all sorts of things to make the video quality better. But, but really what people are gonna notice is your audio quality. So here's, a, here's the Rode VideoMic ME-L on the iPhone 12 Pro. How does it sound? It's solidly windy. We're at the beach. There's a, a background, a background beach rumble for sure going on. Uh, hopefully it sounds good because this is this is really kind of the part of my kit that I feel like I don't have right now. I don't have a good like quick grab mobile solution. So if we're out traveling, if we're out cruising around and I don't want to walk around with the big rig, I don't want to have something like even the A7C or even a GoPro. Like I want, I want to be able to pull my phone out, maybe pull a little tripod rig like this out, plug in a mic and just start shooting Maybe this is the right solution. All right, I'm gonna cruise around here a little bit more, just test the microphone a little bit more in different situations, and then we'll go back to the office and uh, we'll take a look at this, this whole setup. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's solidly sandy on the boardwalk. Remember that one time that I was carving on the boardwalk and things didn't go as planned? <laughs> that was because it was sandy. So I'm I'm not gonna be carving today. Street lines. I gotta say, after having an electric skateboard and then and then not having one, oh boy, do I miss it. And, and that right there is when my iPhone 12 Pro, it just started freaking out on me. And I've heard of people having this issue with the 12 Pro, but I've, I haven't had it yet. But the audio and the video got totally out of sync and not even normal, like part of the same video clip, at one point it was in sync and then it became out of sync and then it kind of went back to sync. It was very weird. And there was super loud popping that was coming through the audio. And then I did a hard reset. I was able to make it go away. It came back late, a whole thing. The iPhone 12 Pro still has some bugs. I really hope Apple fixes it. But that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about the Rode Vlogger Kit. If you, if you do have a phone that is working normally, how do you take a cell phone and and really up the quality. Well, well, the main thing is the microphone, but Rode built you out this entire kit called the Vlogger Kit. They, they know what you're doing with it. And today we're gonna break down if if this kit is a, a kind of a reasonable kit because this is kind of what, this is kind of what I really haven't had in my kit. I haven't really had like a, a little setup like this that I could walk around with, get, iPhone quality video, which is amazing when it's working, and not have to worry about carrying my, my big camera around. This is this is a small, very lightweight rig. So yes, while today's video is is for mobile vloggers or people that are, are really focused on using their cell phones, it's also for anybody, even people like me that are filming on something like the A7S III. When we go out and we travel, there's plenty of times when maybe we're in like a little cute town or something like that, and I don't wanna walk around with this big rig. I would much rather walk around with something like this. And then if it's daytime, I wouldn't even have the light on there. And if it's not windy, I wouldn't even have the wind up. I wouldn't even have the wind muff on there. During the daytime, I could I could walk around with something that looks just like that 
That is very small. And it was able to go back out to the beach with Eleanor this time. And I was able to get a little bit of what the iPhone sounds like without this microphone and then what the iPhone sounds like with this microphone. And we will get to that. But first, let's let's just kind of break down what's included in the vlogger kit. And the, the first piece, the first bit that I really, really like is is this this phone mount. This phone mount that they made is a all aluminum phone mount, which I really dig, but the key feature of it is that it has a screw mount, meaning to make it tighter, you screw this, to make it looser, you unscrew this, and that's that's different than, than you know, these like flexi mounts where you, you just kind of pull on it, you throw your phone in there because you just kind of, eh, and now it's in there, it's, it's in there, seemingly secure, Oh no, even if I wiggle it, I can feel it's loose. <laughs> but with the spring mount, it's it's really easy if you were to bump it or something like that to, to pop out of the mount. Whereas with a screw mount, once it's in there, it is it is on there. Like it's it's not going anywhere. So I really appreciate that they chose the, the screw mount option. It also does have a cold shoe mount on top, which is where that light is mounted. And then it has a quarter 20 on the bottom and it has two quarter 20s on both of the sides here, which I'm, I'm imagining maybe you could you could screw something else in here and mount like a friction arm for another light. Yeah, I'm not I'm not exactly sure what you would use those two quarter 20 mounts for, but but they're there. All right, so first up, really good phone mount, but this this is the piece that I'm, I'm, I'm actually most excited about. And it's because I really like the Manfrotto Pixie. This is almost always in my bag as just a quick, small little tripod. It's a, it can be used as a handle. I use this for my A7S III sometimes where I just pop this on because I don't want a bigger tripod. I just want something to be able to hold the camera and keep really compact. And then I can flip it out into a, a small tripod. Now my big problem with the Pixie, one is that it's a, a single height, you can't change the height at all, and two is that it's a push button for the ball head, and it's not super strong. So even if I don't push the button, I can I can just kind of grab this thing and push it around quite a bit. It's good for small cameras, but it's not, it's not ideal. Whereas on the Rode Tripod 2, one, it has good sturdy legs. It has a twist lock for the ball head. So the ball head gets in position. Again, you just crank it down. And once it's cranked down, like you're not pushing that thing around anywhere. It is super, super secure. And then on the, the kind of neck bit here, you twist that little bit like that. And now it can go down into an almost totally flat tripod. So there's two different modes. There's very, very low. And then you crank that little neck bit. And now it's kind of more upright like the Pixie. So I really dig this as a, a tripod unit or a small tripod. I'm actually pretty bummed that Rode doesn't sell this or they don't sell it yet outside of this kit. The, the only way you can get this tripod, which I now think is, is the best because for a while, forever, this has been the best small, easy to use handheld tripod. And now I like this one a lot better. I would love to buy like two or three more of these just to have them in different bags and different places. But right now you can only get it in the vlogger kit. So hopefully Rode changes that because there is, there's one more feature of this tripod uh, that even Rode doesn't market. They don't they don't put it out there. It's not on any of their websites. I haven't seen it in anyone else's reviews either. Kind of a, a hidden pro feature, and we will we will get to that at the end. It might actually be the, the, the best part of this whole rig is this ability or the ability to do this thing. All right, get that thing back on there and boom. And then the next bit, which obviously it's Rode who made this kit, is the microphone. And this microphone, it's kind of a famous microphone. This is, it's, it's basically just the, it's, it's pretty much just the, get out of there, the Rode Video Micro that we've used for, for GoPros or lots of people just use on their, their big cameras. It's pretty much the exact same microphone, but this one is specifically, specifically designed for iPhones. It has a lightning adapter, so you don't have a, you don't have a dangly cord on your phone. This thing just cleanly snaps right into the lightning port and boom, there it is. And then if you want to film this way, you would just pop it out and click it around. And now, now you're using that front screen. And this is the, this is the bit that, that again, we, we talk about on this channel all the time, but you can watch 
a video where the screen kind of goes blurry or or maybe you don't have good service so, so the video quality kind of drops out but the audio quality stays good you could watch a long video like that what you what you cannot watch is a video that even if the screen is perfect and the video is gorgeous and crystal clear and it's perfectly color graded and everything's amazing but the audio sucks or the audio is popping or the audio is crackling <laughs> man you can't watch it for more than like 20 seconds it is it just makes you go, oh, wow, oh, ah. Oh. And because of that, that's why I always tell people, if there's one thing that you are looking to, to up the quality of your videos, it's audio. And adding this thing on there, it, it does make a big difference. Here is me and Eleanor, we went down to Ponto, huge waves, wind blowing, rocks, because it's a rock beach, rocks rolling around. Here's, here's the before and after with and without this microphone. We're at the beach and we're testing out the Rode ME-L mobile microphone and it is so loud here. This is a, a rock beach at Ponto and there's big waves right now and it is, it is crazy loud. This is the internal microphone of the iPhone without the microphone. Now I'm gonna plug in the Rode mic and we'll see if this helps to isolate my voice. Okay, now this is with the Rode microphone, the ME-L plugged in. How well does it isolate my voice? It is, it is solidly loud here today. What do you think? Do you think the microphone's gonna help? I bet it will. And that's the power of a directional microphone. It's, it doesn't look like much. It's not some, some big fancy microphone. It's just this little tiny guy clicked into the side of your phone and it changes the audio quality that much. One, one quick caveat to this microphone is that I had it in the forward facing position. And even though it's all the way over here on this side of the phone and the, the lens is all the way over here, when I had the dead cat on, which you want this on there for wind protection, so you don't get that like, kind of thing. Uh, if you're using the 0.5 lens on the iPhone, you can just see some of these fuzzies kind of coming into frame, especially as I was skateboarding around and I was, I was kind of wobbling it like that. They, they were just kind of creeping in on the, on the side of the frame right there. It would be nice if, if they, I mean, I do like that there's this giant dead cat because it, it works really, really well, but maybe if there was a smaller version that we could put on there, that that would also be sweet. All right, so we have the, the tripod, we have the phone mount, we have the microphone with windscreen. The last bit of this kit is the light, and I don't even know what it's called. Just the Rode Micro LED. It looks a lot like a Loom Cube, doesn't it? But it actually has a small diffusion panel on the front. It is solidly bright, like super bright. I don't think I would ever use this thing on high if I was, if I was holding it on my phone. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever have it on high on my phone, I think I would use one of the lower modes, again, because I'm only holding it at arm's length, but if you were lighting something else, or maybe you just had this thing with you because of this kit, and you wanted to take photos of something at night or in a darker scenario, you'd be able to use this thing as your kind of off angle, cool light, and look at that. It looks good. The little diffuser panel actually does quite a bit to soften that light. Look at it without the diffusion. That's, that's it without the diffuser. Very harsh. And then with the diffuser, wow. That's actually an impressive little diffuser. It also comes with a bunch of little gels. It comes with eight different colored gels. Now the colors are, are fun, you know, if you want to do background colored lights like that. But the one that's in here that actually is really useful is a tungsten filter. So the tungsten, oh God, that is so bright. So what a tungsten filter basically does is it, it colors the light to look like tungsten lights. And tungsten lights are things that you're gonna see a lot like, like downtown, kind of those, those orangier lights, those are tungsten colored lights. And what you don't want to do is walk around shooting yourself in the face with a daylight balanced light, and then the background lights are tungsten, and what you, what you end up with is the background looks really, really orange, and you look normal, because your phone is gonna auto white balance for your face, it's gonna auto white balance for what's right in front of it, and then the background goes really, really orange. But if you shine an orange light at your face, then the phone will white balance for your face, which is orange, and then the background looks pretty normal. So really nice that they do include those in there. Okay, so that is that is this whole rig. That's everything that this comes with and it's it's pretty sweet. I'm going to say as far as a vlogging rig, 
this whole kit will for sure live in my camera bag. Okay, but the hidden feature, the thing that, that even Rode does not talk about, about this, this whole set is, it's, it's the tripod. The tripod has a trick to it that I, I discovered by mistake when I was trying to, to do the legs and, and change the height of the legs. But check this out. The, the tripod itself is actually two pieces. So there's the legs and there's the ball head. And if you grab it in just the right spot and twist, you can separate the legs from the ball head and you have a quarter 20 here, quarter 20 screw, and a quarter 20 hole there, which means that you could, in theory, add in an extension pole. This is the Insta360 invisible selfie stick, and I could screw that onto here because it has a quarter 20 on the bottom. Crank that nice and tight. Now there's legs. Put this up here, get that screwed in. Check this out. This is now a, a very tall and extendable tripod rig. Bink, I get that back in place. Now, now look how tall, and this is its shortest mode, by the way. But even if I'm walking around like this, oh yeah, that's crazy wide. Check this out, because this invisible selfie stick is designed to extend. So I could extend this thing all the way out. Look how long this rig is now oh it's too tall to go in here it is now this tall look at that that's awesome so we could bring this with us and this is now our iphone tripod the ball head again because it splits the ball head is still up top with something like with something like this if i put this on there the ball head would be on the ground and the whole stick would be doing this thing you know with this the ball head's up top i can sit there and get my shot just perfect run in front do my video thing and then when i'm done the whole thing collapses back down boom i could shove it back in my backpack like this or i could unscrew this bit add that back in there and boom i'm back to a handheld grip. I can't believe that Rode, one, doesn't talk about this feature because that's awesome, but two, Rode should make their own extension pole. It doesn't even have to be this big. You could make it a little smaller because this is actually solidly big, but it's also quite compact. Maybe Rode just does make this exact thing. Look, it's the same length. So if I'm putting this all in my bag or something like that, it's it's no longer, it's no bigger, but then obviously this thing, because it, it does this, you could have a very big version of this. And again, a, a small little handheld tripod like this, still amazing, pop it on a rock or something like that. But if we're out hiking, sometimes, yeah, you, there's not a rock around. You're on this cool trail, you have this really cool shot up the trail, and then you put this on the ground and you're like, oh, that's a really low shot. I wish it was like a foot or two higher, and you add this in there, and now, now it can be. Yeah, this whole thing is is really good. This whole rig by itself, just how it is, really good. I do wish, again, that I could buy just this tripod two outside of that because I imagine, I mean, it is very strong. Before we go, let's test the weight limit. We won't get too crazy, but here's a, a Sony A7 series body with a 35 millimeter 1.4, which is kind of a, a heavier prime lens. And yeah, that thing, that works great. Yeah, you could use just just this handle or this, this tripod as a handle for a larger camera. Like no problem, I can, yeah, it's not moving. Rode, please sell me this tripod separate from the kit. The kit is really good. The whole kit, uh, I like the phone mount. I love the microphone. I really love the tripod, but I'd, I'd also like to buy the tripod just by itself because I, I like two or three of them. Okay, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You can always text me also at 858-201-7208. Questions, comments, whatever you want, just shoot me a text. Okay, hit like on this video because you're awesome. Hit subscribe because you're a legend and I'll, uh, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go see if I can get my iPhone figured out because it, it is acting very odd. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna uh, take the elevator today. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs>